why am I here? How many of you spend more time with your employees and your coworkers than you do with your families? Most of us do, yes. So can we consider them family? We should consider them family. So the reason I am here, and this is going to sound crazy, but it's the whole purpose of my talk, is it's all about love. It is. It's all about love. We love ourselves. We love ourselves enough to be safe. We love our families. We love our dogs. We love our coworkers. Does that mean we hug, and, hug them and show them love that way? No, probably better not. Some of your coworkers probably wouldn't appreciate that. But we can show love to our coworkers by keeping them safe and ourselves. And that's what we do in families. We take care of each other. Um, as Mike was saying when he introduced me, um, I kind of feel lucky because my whole entire life is about my family. It's about Chad. It's about my kids. It's about our home where we live. It's about my neighbors that I just love. And I'm so lucky because my whole life is full of love. And so I want all of you to think about that. And I want to think, what would I do for my coworker? What, what would I do for my coworker's families? You might not know them, but you'd never want to make a phone call and say, I took a shortcut and it hurt the person that they loved. Um, so I want you to think about that. Um, and lastly, if you see something at work that's not safe and you think, oh man, he's been here for 20 years. I, I've only been here two. I, I shouldn't say anything. He might get offended. You know, he knows the better way to do it. I shouldn't say anything. And that, that is not true. We always should say something. If we see something that's being done that's not safe, we should say something. And then as, as that person, we should thank them. Thank you for caring enough for me to say something. We should never get offended by someone trying to correct us because they're not doing it to be mean. They're doing it out of love. Um, I wanted to share a quick story about that. And it's such a sweet, endearing story. On our way home from Ethiopia, last month. Um, we were going through the TSA in Germany and w Chad had put us on first class so that we could survive the flight <laughs> and so we were able to go through the, um, the security check that was for first class so there was nobody there. It was, it was awesome. Um, but as we went through the uh, metal detector, um, Caleb has a necklace that he wears. He calls it his Jesus necklace and it's a cross and it's metal and it's just very dear to him and um, I had forgot that he had that on so as he went through the metal detector it beeped and and so as he got to the other side I followed him through and the TSA agent came up and he was a real tall guy and he came up and he stood in front of Caleb and he put his arms out like this and he stood there like assuming that Caleb would be like okay I know what to do but Caleb was like, he just kind of looked at him and then he looked at me like, okay. And he ran over and he just wrapped his arms around him and just gave him the huge bear hug. And the TSA agent was like, whoa. And I mean, it totally caught him off guard and he thought, okay. So he put his arms around Caleb and he just patted his back and, you know, Caleb squeezed on him for a second. And, you know, Caleb had no idea what he wanted. But, you know, love always works, and he thought he wanted a big, giant hug. So, so my point of this story is the TSA agent didn't push him away. Oh, no, son, that's not what I wanted. I just, you know, wanted to scan you. He loved on him, and he said, you know, okay, you know, nice hug. So, you know, show love back to your employees or your coworkers. When they correct you, and you, when they correct you because you've done something wrong, just thank you. Thank you for caring enough about me to say something. Um, as, as Caleb let go of the TSA agent and he kind of backed up a little bit, he was smiling, he got down on his knees so he was at Caleb's level and he lifted Caleb's arms and held him out like he needed him to, to do the little scan. And, and Caleb right at that moment was like, oh. <laughs> and he realized he did not want a hug from me. He wanted me to stand like he was standing. And it was so precious. He got all embarrassed, and, and the agent patted him and said, it's OK, it's OK. And it was just such a sweet moment. But you know, Caleb didn't get mad, and he just, he just was so embarrassed. But I just want us to all think about that when our coworkers maybe correct us or try and give us advice on how to do something a little safer. We should just take it with love, thank them, um, and move on your way.